In this video, I'm going to explain the three steps on how to import GPX files to your Ride Command app and to your side-by-side -side equipped with Ride Command. Stick around to the end to learn about the free GPX files we'll be sharing. As always, please show your support by hitting the subscribe button. First is prep work. We'll be sharing all the GPX files via the Ride Command platform. I've included a link to setting up the Ride Command account in the description below. Make sure you download the Ride Command app and create the account and be signed in the Ride Command app before following the next step. It'll make the process go a lot easier. Now, if you're doing this from a desktop instead of a phone, the steps should be similar, but in case they're not, we're gonna link a video in the description of this one showing you step-by-steps on a desktop. If you use a different GPS app than Ride Command, then setting up the account should allow you access to the GPX files you'll need to download so you can upload them to the GPS system that you use. The steps I'm about to walk you through are accurate as of today. If they come out with an update, that could change. So if your interface doesn't match exactly, that would be the reason why. Now, if the update is drastically different, we will make an updated video that will link in the description of this one. Or you can find it at trailkings.com underneath the Maps tab. Second is how to download the files. Now, after submitting the request to the correct trail system link on our website, which is trailkings.com, you will receive a personalized access link within a few days of the submission date. Now don't be counting the weekends because we're going to be out riding like most of y'all. Now clicking on that link will auto open the Ride Command app on your phone. Once it's done loading, you'll have the option to save the collection on the right of the screen. Click the save button and this will save the waypoints and routes underneath the collections tab within the Ride Command app. Now to find the collection tab, once you get off that screen, you'll need to click on the rides button in the bottom middle. Then click on the collections icon on the top right of your phone screen. And that's where your routes will be. Third is how to import the GPX files into your ride command on your machine. Start off with connecting your ride command to a Wi-Fi source like a mobile hotspot on your cell phone or your home's Wi-Fi if it can reach your garage. First step is clicking the Polaris symbol in the top middle of your screen. Then click the gear icon that says all settings then click the gear icon that says General. Next, you're gonna click the Wi-Fi and finish off with clicking on. Once you select your Wi-Fi that you wanna use, input your password, and once it's connected, you'll click the back arrow on the top right. Hit the Ride Command account link. Next, you'll click the account ID, then input your email and click Save. Then you'll input your password and click Save. Once those two steps are completed, the only thing left to do is upload the GPX files onto your ride command. You'll start off with clicking the navigation button and then click on rides and waypoints. Next, you'll click the double arrow on the top right of the screen. You will click copy to from ride command and keep in mind if the files don't appear, then click the arrow circle next to the word sync. Next, you'll click each individual arrow on the GPX routes and waypoints you want on your ride command. Once they've transferred over, the green check mark will appear. Once that's done, hit the back button. Now, all the waypoints will automatically show, but you'll need to click the eye icon on the routes you want to show for your upcoming trip. In conclusion, following these steps will ensure you can import any ride command GPX file into your online account and onto your side-by-side -side equipped with Ride Command. Check out the description of this video for links to the free GPX files we have available. Please show your support by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to turn on notifications. If this video has helped you, then please smash the like button and thank you for watching. Thank you.